Hi guys, welcome back for another book chat. I've picked five books for you guys this week that are all available on Sora for you to borrow. So let's get right to it. The first book I'm going to share is called The Patron Saints of Nothing. And I read it last year when it came out and it is a really, really good book. So here's the cover. And this book is by Randy Rebay. And here's the synopsis. A coming of age story about grief, guilt, and the risks a Filipino-American teenager takes to uncover the truth about his cousin's murder. Jay Reguero plans to spend the last summer of his senior year playing video games before heading to the University of Michigan in the fall. But when he discovers that his Filipino cousin June was murdered as part of President Duterte's war on drugs and no one in his family wants to talk about what happened, Jay travels to the Philippines to find out the real story. Hoping to uncover more about June and the events that led to his death, Jay is forced to reckon with the many sides of his cousin before he can face the whole horrible truth and the part that he played in it. So that book's realistic fiction, but it definitely tends a little bit to mystery as Jay tries to discover what really happened to June and what life was like for June before his death. And it also takes a really hard look at what life is like in the Philippines. So it kind of covers a lot of ground. It's a really, really good read. The next book we're going to look at is called The Other Side of Lost by Jesse Kirby. This is what the cover looks like. This one is also realistic fiction, but it definitely tends more towards adventure than mystery like the last book. So here's the synopsis. Girl Online meets Wild in this emotionally charged story of a girl who takes to the wilderness to rediscover herself and escape the super, superficial persona she created on social media. Mari Turner's life is perfect. That is, at least to her thousands of followers who have helped her become an internet starlet. But when she breaks down and posts a video confessing that she's been living a lie, that she isn't happy, isn't in love, isn't an inspirational online personality she's been trying hard to portray, it goes vi viral and she receives major backlash. To get away from it all, she makes an impulsive decision to hike the entire John Muir Trail. Mari and her late cousin Bree were supposed to do it together. It was supposed to celebrate their shared 18th birthday. But that was before Mari got so wrapped up in her online world that she shut out anyone who questioned its worth, like Bree. With Bree's boots and a trail diary, a heart full of regret, and a group of strangers that she meets along the way, Mari tries to navigate the difficult terrain of the hike. But the true challenge lies within, as she searches for a way back to the girl she fears may be too lost to find herself. So that's a really, um, it's a book that covers a lot of stuff. It's definitely adventure, but it also looks at the personas we put out there and how the world sees us and how we see ourselves. So the next book I'm going to share is a graphic novel called Original Fake by Kirsten Crone Mills and illustrated by E. Arrow Johnson. Here's the cover. In this Banksy-inspired illustrated novel, an escalating sibling rivalry train wrecks, and vengeance is a street art act of war. Introvert Frankie Newman hates his life, and understandably so. He's got a weird tutu-wearing sister, Lou, and even weirder parents, Bridget and Brett. Frank Sinatra and Dr. Frankenfurter impersonators, respectively. And he's just the guy who makes pizza at Pizza Vendetta. Though he has a secret artistic aspirations of his own, his over-the-top family makes him want to stay in the background. But Frankie's life is about to change, becoming way more interesting, even a little dangerous, and definitely cool. After his shift at the pizzeria one night, Frankie meets David and Rory, cousins and errand runners for the mysterious Uncle Epic, a legendary anonymous street art artist and Frankie's absolute idol. Little could Frankie dream that his new adventures with Uncle Epic would lead to the perfect opportunity to strike back at his insufferable sister for a lifetime of torture. But things go haywire quicker than you can say street art kicks butt. And the lines are suddenly blurred between art and Frankie's real life. So like our other books, this story kind of hits a couple different spots. It's again about someone trying to figure out who they are in the world, a little bit of adventure, and definitely some serious hijinks ensue as they have their little art, street art war. The next book is a sci-fi book and it's called The Disasters by M.K. England. 
Hotshot pilot Nax Hall has a history of making poor life choices. So it's not exactly a surprise when he's kicked out of the elite Ellis Station Academy in less than 24 hours. But Nax's one-way trip back to Earth is cut short when a terrorist group attacks the Academy. Nax and three other washout es washouts escape, barely, but they're also the sole witnesses to the biggest crime in the history of space colonization. And the perfect scapegoats. On the run and framed for atrocities they didn't commit, Nax and his fellow failures execute a dangerous heist to spread the truth about what happened at the Academy. They may not be Academy material, and they may not even get along, but they're the only ones left to step up and fight. So the next book I'm going to share is called Everyday Heroes by Kathleen Cherry. Here's the cover. And here's the synopsis. Alice doesn't like noise, smell, or strangers. She does like rules. Lots of rules. Nobody at her new school knows she has Asperger's, so it doesn't take long for her odd behavior to get her in trouble. When she meets Megan in detention, she doesn't know what to make of her. Megan doesn't smell, she's not terribly noisy, and she's not exactly a stranger. But is she a friend? Megan seems fearless to Alice, but also angry, or maybe sad. Alice isn't sure which. When Megan decides to run away, Alice resolves to help her friend, no matter how many rules she has to break or how bad it makes her feel. So those books are all available on Sora, like I said. And the last thing I'm going to share is that you should all be seeing a new course in your Canvas account starting this week, and it is the library page. That page is going to house a lot of these videos, but it is also going to house things like how to use Canvas, some walkthroughs on how to submit assignments, and there's going to be a place for you guys to ask me questions. So if you need help with assignments, if you need help with Canvas, or if you're just looking for book recommendations or something fun to read, let me know. Use the discussion page there and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. The library will also be hosting library hours online through Zoom a few times a week. So check on that library canvas page. I will have all the dates and times up and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I hope you are all doing well. I miss you all and I hope we are back together in the near future. Bye guys.